I'm here with Executive Director of AEE, Alex Human, and Tim Janis, who is head of our CEM program. And we're going to discuss a little bit about energy management today. So my first question is if you two could just describe energy management as it's going today and what it looks like in the near future. Well, let me you. start. I mean, yeah. we've uh, witnessed since uh, AEE started in 1977, a really roller coaster ride in terms of the energy management profession. We basically defined what an energy manager does, and we've seen the role of the energy manager go up and down. And right now, with I would say uh, the emphasis on green jobs, uh, stimulus funding, and also the emphasis on creating a benchmark of excellence, uh, we see the energy management field growing and the certified energy manager program. What do you think, Tim? I'll tell you, if there's any indication of how vibrant the industry is right now, the applications and the testing procedures and courses for a certified energy manager are absolutely on an upward slope that's incredible. I, we're just uh, experiencing the largest course we've ever held here in Atlanta, 162 registrations. Had to split it into two sections, it was so large. So there is uh, incredible interest. And it's, it's well warranted. It's a great time to be in the energy industry, I think. Absolutely. Now, what kind of advice would you give to people who are looking to capitalize on the growing amount of jobs out there in the energy industry, who are looking to transition into that field? Well, well first of all, um, my unbiased commercial is that the Association of Energy Engineers is the only organization that an individual needs to join. Um, we have programs that are aimed at student members uh, with Basically, they pay $15 and get all our journals valued $600. We have student chapters. We even gave out in China our first uh, award for the young energy professional under 30 years of age. So if you want ed education, if you want uh, resources, if you want networking, the AE is the place to be. And I think you should get involved as a ground, I would say, ground level, become involved with the AE. And then... Uh, I think, uh, Tim, you could probably comment, we have a lot of different training programs that could help. We have a great number of training programs, and I think we're seeing re incredible insurgents really in two areas. We, for a while in this industry, we were missing the young engineers, the young energy managers. They weren't sure that they wanted to be in the business. Now we're seeing both a tremendous influx, influx of young students that are looking for mentoring, for education, for courses, and we're also seeing a fair amount of folks coming in who have been outsized out of industries that are on a downward spiral that are coming into the energy business and all of them young and old are looking for the types of training and courses and really as you said Al, networking is the most important thing the experience uh, both at the international level and the chapter level really enriches their job opportunities and, and there's uh, another uh, item that I would like to bring up about women in the energy and environmental we have uh, created a Council for Women in Energy and Environmental Le Leadership. Uh, we've had two women presidents who have been absolutely phenomenal, Mary Ann Lauderdale and uh, Laurie, Wiggins. Laurie Wiggins. And uh, through this group, we also want to mentor and, and enhance career opportunities for women in the energy field. Right, there's a, there's a tremendous influx, increase in the number of uh, uh, ladies taking our, all of our courses. So that is great to see. It's uh, I guess the message out there is it's not the old boys club anymore. Absolutely. <laughs>